beautiful welcome to another reading welcome back if you're new or returning i'm going to ask spirit to tap me into a few energies here for us to talk about today in this general reading i have a feeling i may be picking up on a select group of you um maybe a few maybe just one just keep in mind this is a general reading so take the parts that do resonate for you and leave the parts that do not to someone else who it's meant for if you want to take a look here and see what's going on for you and what spirit wants you to know regarding your own personal situation or someone you're currently dealing with how things will likely unfold or develop what's at your 12 what's at your six i got you but you have to give me permission to tap into your energy i will um, take a look at it if you guys will email me okay um, we can see here how your person is currently thinking and or feeling when it comes to you what do you need to know Maybe there are some things you may or may not be aware of. What are their true intentions? Are they interested? Do they... Will it turn into a blissful commitment? You're happily ever after. Okay? If something or someone is the right path for you. In other words, should you leave, stay, go. Let's take a look here. I don't know what energies I'm going to get tapped in today. So you guys just be, <clears throat> just remind yourself, um, not everything that I see that I pick up on or that I tap into is going to resonate with you. All right. So you see something of value here. Something has caught your attention someone perhaps and you believe they are worth it there is something beyond measure okay you could see the future you could see how this may turn into something beautiful this could be something worth pursuing. This could be something worth holding on to. Because not only do you think it's valuable, you also believe that this is, they're worthy. Or something here feels quite good. It's in alignment with you. You're just a little confused right now as to what kind of future will hold in what it is that you're looking at okay i'm kind of getting for whoever it is i'm tapping into right now your energy here is like i like this i like where it's going i like how i feel about it but i don't know there's something here that i don't want to get myself all worked up i don't want to get myself all excited you know maybe i'm just in my head maybe i'm delusional maybe this is a one-sided thing maybe it's going to end up to being nothing what are their intentions? How do they feel? Because I'm seeing here something is catching your attention and you do feel like there is something here. Something worth holding on to, saving. You're making room for this. You're like dumping everything else out that was in your bag and you're like, no, I'm keeping this one. This one I think is important. Okay. Your current energy here was the Ten of Cups. See, this is the Page of Pentacles with the Ten of Cups. This is something to do. You feel like there's someone here who's right for you. This is your person. You could have your happily ever after with them. What's the problem here with the Page of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups? The Nine of Pentacles, the Chariot, and the Three of Swords. Okay. All right, what's showing, it's coming through in this reading right now is whoever it is I'm speaking to, yeah, there's so much yummy gooiness about this person. You want them. You could see an amazing future with them. However, the circumstances may not be right for you right now. There could be a third party involvement. You're not sure how exactly to go about it. 
there could have also, if that didn't resonate with you, um, that was definitely for somebody here. But I'm seeing one of you is single or is going to become single very soon. This could also be, I'm seeing here for some of you, you have shared history with them. Okay. Something happened here in your recent or distant past that didn't make you feel like it was the right time for you to get involved with anybody. There was a mom's getting here. <clears throat> significant amount of time that you decided to stay single and work on your finances work on rebuilding restructuring your life the nine of pentacles i love this i'm surprised i didn't see the world okay the nine of pentacles is you have it well you have it made i mean you are pretty confident you're pretty independent okay i'm seeing here you're doing everything on your own and you're enjoying that you're really enjoying that space that freedom your independence it wasn't it all this that you have right now did not happen overnight okay you may have even made such amazing life like you have all of your you, know, you could be living in a badass penthouse or a condo or whatever you know you're you have it pretty good in life you can say you have a lot of things going for you one of the few things maybe the only thing that is absent that you feel like is lacking right now is what's going on in your love life but you do have somebody here you do have somebody here that you want to spend it with i'm seeing here money for you isn't really a problem I'm seeing here, I mean, if, if it is kind of right now, okay, I'm seeing here, it won't be a problem for you. Definitely not. The Nine of Pentacles, is, there's no struggle financially. Your health, your fitness, everything about you is amazing. You glow, okay? You level up. You're going to become someone that you're going to look back one day and be extremely proud of. It's like, you know, there's a lot of internal and external work and the nine of pentacles and they're pretty proud of themselves and not saying they're boastful or egotistical or you know loud and proud they're very quite humble i just kind of want to say all of this to kind of give you the recognition you deserve because it was not easy for you to get here however what you're feeling right now inside is everything is going well in my life i have the home i have the house i have the car i have all these amazing things i have you know a thriving business six-figure income you know six-figure seven-figure income i have all of these things going on in my life but i'm missing something here love you know i'm hitting the gym i'm looking really nice i'm fit or becoming you know feeling a lot better about myself and if you guys are not there i'm just seeing nine of pentacles whoever's listening to this you will become this person if not that person already but i'm gonna see i see here what's gonna be falling behind if you may be if that you're not already there right now what's falling behind in your life is love it's with the nine of pentacles there you're choosing to stay you know single also for a lot of you you feel like it's just isn't worth risk you know you're very watchful, guarded, protective of who you share your energy with, who you who you open up to, who you get involved with. Very selective. But you don't know right now what their intentions are. I do see here something or someone has caught your interest. So let me see what's going on on the other side of this reading, okay? You may also be a little watchful right now because they might be involved. You might be wondering here, are they still talking or dealing with their ex? What's going on with them? Something here, I feel like the Three of Swords, either you're afraid to get hurt or you're expecting a betrayal or there's there's something not happening right now due to external circumstances some things that are just out of your control there could be someone else they could be married you could be married what does spirit want you to know right now i don't know who it is i'm picking up on 
um, I may have read for you before. Some of this energy is feeling, I'm kind of getting deja vu feelings. You guys got a few steps. Or maybe you've been following me on this channel for a very long time. And I never read for you before, but you've been stopping by every now and then. Okay. <clears throat> what do you need to know? What do you need to know about this situation right now? The Three of Swords and the Page of Pentacles. You see something here of value, worth holding on to. Even tossed out everything else that you were carrying in this proverbial bag. Just to make room for this one shining coin. I'm using metaphors right now. Hope you guys are hope you guys understand. But I'm seeing here this is a relationship. Like you don't care about your exes. You don't care about anybody else. You don't care about all the other women or the men who are interested in you. You want this person. This could be someone you dated. This could be someone, this could be an ex. This could be someone who just recently entered your life. You do have somebody here of interest. Okay, so your question right now, the, your worries, your concern is the, the three of swords that I saw. What do you need to know about this person? What does spirit want you to know about this person? Wow. Something here happened. Okay, I'm going to be completely honest. The energy that I'm getting right now is there could have been a rejection or a falling apart or a growing apart. This person, if they have taken a step back from you, told you about it, didn't tell you about it, doesn't matter. If they took a step back from you in some way, shape, or form, it's saying right now they are really thinking about having doing something here, a shared future with you. They're really in their heads about this whole situation. And they've had a change of heart. They're looking at the situation differently from a different perspective. Okay. The cards are just wanting to fall out. And then they have the sun. Though you guys are apart, you guys are staring at each other, thinking about each other. It looks like you guys both feel like there is unfinished business or there's something to be continued between you both. You both feel this... Um, they, they, there's something romantic happening between you two both kind of thinking about it but I'm kind of getting for them this was more like you caught them off guard okay because they were not I'm going to be completely honest with you they were not going into this situation probably neither were you going into this thinking I'm going to marry them but maybe it started off very casually it was just hot and heavy there is sexual tension between you both you both were very attracted to each other and um i'm seeing here it may have just was intention it wasn't very like i'm getting here like I, I, we didn't know what was gonna happen i was just really into him i was really into her then as we got around to hanging out with each other more something happened something happened something clicked they don't know what happened, what changed. They feel something here for you romantically. The Knight of Cups. Okay? Romantically. They see you as someone they can... They love. They can be involved with. Bring home to mom. 
okay, you're bringing, you show off to their friends. They feel quite good about this. They feel like you are the one. They feel like you are the one. They have this two of wands energy right now. So they're kind of waiting for you to decide or make a move. They're watching, they're looking in your direction, you guys. But I'm seeing here, this is someone here who's more passive. I want to get, I'm, I'm picking, they're like, I'm, I'm a coward. I'm getting from this person, I'm a coward. I don't know what to do. They have the two of wands and the seven of cups and the ten of wands energy. Like, this is really holding them back, holding them up, okay? It's like they have all of this to give you, but all of these fears and worries and their current reality is a burden. This is now feeling quite heavy for them because they have so much they want to offer. This is kind of cute. <laughs> it's like I have all these donuts I want to give, you know? I have all these sweets. I, like, this person is a sweetheart. I feel like this person really is a sweetheart. Do not buy based off of their representation right now. It feels really to you like they don't have that much interest. Do not judge by their representation. I know a lot of people will say, well, you got to, if, if they're not, uh, I don't know. There's so many. For this person, this person's energy that I'm tapped into because I'm seeing the Ten of Wands and the Seven of Cups and them staring at you. Don't judge based off of their representation because I'm seeing here this person is a sweetheart at heart, okay? You know, when you look at a salt compared to sugar, it looks the same on the, on the surface. Don't look at how they're responding, how they're talking to you, how they're showing up in representation of themselves right now because at the core, they are two very different um, their energy is very different. This person's not a player. They're not looking to play you. They're falling in love with you. They are in love with you. They just don't know how to move forward. Okay. And you're, you could be comparing all the other trashy, you know, players who have been very deceptive to this person. Yes. This person is showing up almost like a player, but they're not one at heart. The reason why they're showing up as a player right now is and why you would think they're a player or maybe not that interested or into you is because they have all of these worries, these concerns. Okay, they're moving slower than you, that you would like. And they don't know what's happening to them. How is this all happening to them? They were not expecting this, okay? Will this scare the living crap out of them? Yeah, relationships are a little bit daunting, haunting for them, okay? They have had their many numerous experiences with other women, other men, and I'm kind of getting here like I'm a coward. I want this so bad, but I'm afraid. One of you, see? Um, I want this so bad, but I'm afraid. You guys, I don't know what's going on in this reading here, but this person does have a lot of love for you. You guys are both looking in each other's direction. It's almost as if they're waiting for you to say something. They're wondering if you're going to text them, reach out to them again. They are if you're lying. We have two sevens here. See? I'm seeing here, they're like, oh, okay, maybe they're not that all that interested. Maybe I'm just going to go. I'm seeing here, you guys may have some history, some past. They want to speak you into life, you know. There's something here about them missing you and you guys being apart. And this is a heavy sense of loss or feeling of bad timing is what I'm getting. What is all this? Yeah. Okay, you guys, this is someone really in their head. They're feeling quite stupid. What do I do? How do I go about this? Okay, you guys are mirror reflections of each other. This is a soulmate. You guys bring out this, something here also with inner child. Okay, but really, and see, didn't I just say don't judge by the representation? This person is really a sweetheart at heart. There's something here, a wounded inner child. They don't know how to come up and um, 
say the things they want to say you know they don't know really how to express themselves and feelings it makes them tense it locks them up and they kind of distance themselves and they might have said something to you in the recent or distant past we have balance here and getting higher knowledge and receiving wisdom Something is call, telling them to come towards you and you towards them. Maybe it's something with this reading. We have now High Priestess and the Hierophant. Okay, those are, damn, really spiritual energies here. Um, we have a choice. We have the Hermit. Okay, this came out. This has been coming out in my readings. And we also have a Queen of Swords, King of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Sagittarius, Hierophant, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. It's in this reading. Some of you have a choice. This is what you're thinking right now. What do I do? Who do I choose? Which path do I take, left or right? Should I leave? Should I stay? If this is your energy, reach out. I'd love to see you guys and do a personal reading for you. This is what I have for now. Thank you guys so much for your time. I hope this video helped. I had a lot of fun with this. Give me a like, subscribe if you haven't. Thank you so much for you guys. <clears throat> if you're a real one, comment. If you're a real, real one, subscribe. And uh, email me. Let me know. I'll see you guys later. Bye, guys.